Hi, I'm Kyle Ludwig reporting from the MBAA Regional Forum here in Boca Raton, Florida. Sitting here with Mr. Gil Wollen from Wollen Consulting. Um, Mr. Wollen, uh, how did you get started in the industry? <laughs> and uh, maybe tell us a little bit about that. I uh, grew up in the back of a V-Tail Bonanza when my father was selling uh, radios for the old Lear Inc. out of Santa Monica back in, the, back in the 50s. Came out of college with a degree in economics and was fortunate enough to, to get on with Learjet, the manufacturer, back when it was against Learjet in Wichita. And just haven't looked back. It's been uh, 42 years and uh, never left the industry. Uh, have a son that, that followed me into it, so I'm in the middle of three generations involved in aviation. So with that being said, where do you see the business aviation industry going in 2014 and beyond? We seem to have caught our breath, thank heavens. Uh, when things hit the skids in, in late 07 and 08, uh, and stayed there for several years, uh, trying to figure out which end was up. And there are a lot of things uh, with the economy recovering that, that uh, are sending good signals. The number of used aircraft available for sale uh, as a percentage of the fleet has dropped significantly in the last uh, in the last year or so. Flight activity is up dramatically. The manufacturers seem to have figured things out. Uh, Gulfstream had a dramatically excellent <laughs> year last year. Uh, part of that, of course, was the advent of the 650. But uh, overall, they've done a nice job in, in, uh, in building a business reason for owning the aircraft. And that's one thing that seems to be changing right now. Uh, we got involved in, in aircraft as a, as a lifestyle accessory, and that drove the marketing and also made us vulnerable to critics in Washington. And uh, what is happening now is we seem to be getting back to basics, and I think that's what's going to bring back the mid and light, side, uh, light cabin aircraft is uh, viewing the business jet as a business tool as opposed to a lifestyle accessory. Um, it was, I think, 1973. I'm sorry I'm dating myself. But uh, Learjet put up a, a, a billboard at the NBAA convention as you left. There was no DFW. It was all Love Field. And as you left Love Field, there was just no uh, words, no picture. And the words were, Welcome to Dallas. Your competitor arrived this morning on his Learjet. His, not his and hers. A different world. On his Learjet. Signed the contract and is on his way home to have dinner with his family. Welcome to Dallas. And that's the whole message that aviation provides. Is you get the job done and you can get home. And the other thing that's working in our favor uh, is the consolidation of the airlines. You've got American and uh, U.S. Air coming together now. United and Continental have come together. And the upshot is a reduction in competition. And that means fewer flights, higher passenger loads, more congestion, more inconvenience. And that, more than anything, will drive people to business aviation. Because when you couple that domestically with the international issue of now having to fly to China and Moscow and doing business all over the world, business aviation uh, enables executives to deal with world markets in ways that uh, uh, commercial aviation simply doesn't. Well, I want to thank you for your time, Mr. Wollen, and uh, it was a I appreciate you sitting down with us. It was my pleasure. All right. And that does it for this episode of the COB Report.